Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the add to bookmark. That is what we'll be working on. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor. And right now you want to open up the views PY for the dashboard. And we want to begin by creating a very simple view that will add items to the bookmark. So what I pretty much want to say is define add to bookmark and we'll be using Ajax to actually make a call to the server, then update some informations. So let's grab the ID of the hotel that we want to add to bookmark by saying request.get.get ID. I'll show you how we'll pass this from the front end, which will be the JavaScript. Now let's fetch the hotel based on that ID by saying hotel should be equal to hotel.objects.get where the ID of the hotel is equal to the ID that was sent to us from the front end. Now let's check. If request.user.is authenticated, what do we want to do? Let's pretty much try fetching that bookmark. So I'll say bookmark should be equal to bookmark.objects.filter by user should be equal to request.user and also hotel should be equal to hotel. Now I'm filtering this bookmark to pretty much check if the bookmark already exists, then we delete the bookmark. But if the bookmark does not exist, then we create a new bookmark. So if bookmark dot exists, then what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and delete that particular bookmark by saying bookmark dot delete. Okay. But if this bookmark doesn't exist, then what do we want to do? We'll go ahead and create a new bookmark, but we'll have a problem trying to delete this bookmark here, which is a query set. So what we can do is if such bookmark exists, then let's get only the bookmark. There are a lot of ways to do this, but one thing that I, can, I would do now is pretty much fetch the bookmark again by saying bookmark.object.get this time around, where all this is equal to all this. So I'm using get so that I can say bookmark.delete. I hope this makes sense. So after we have all this now, that's pretty much what I want. Like I said, if you don't want to type this out, you can comment that out and pretty much add first over here. That was still work perfectly well, okay? So there are a lot of ways that you could use to do this. Now, what if the bookmark exists? But let's return some data back to the front end, saying something like bookmark deleted successfully. So I want to return JSON response. Let's make sure to import that from django.http, import JSON response. And down here, we need to pass some data back to the front end. So data, or you can still call it message. What do I want to say? I want to say bookmark deleted. Bookmark deleted. Okay. And I also want to pass another one, which would be the icon. So the icon should be success. All right. So what if the bookmark did not already exist? Then let's create a new bookmark by saying bookmark dot oh, dot object dot create. And what do we want to create? User should be equal to the request user. And also hotel should be the hotel that we are fetching at the top. Then now that we've created the bookmark, we can then send another message to the front end saying bookmark or hotel bookmarked, something like that. Hotel bookmarked. All right. So what if request.user is not authenticated, which means a user is not logged in? What do we want to do? Let's pretty much to return a message back to the front end saying login to add to bookmark or login to bookmark hotel. Login to bookmark hotel. And the icon should be warning. All right, that is pretty much what we want to do. Now let's register this in the URLs. This one will be called add to bookmark. And I pretty much want to register its URLs here. 
also here. They remove the BID for this one. So when this is done, let's go ahead and configure the hotel detail page to communicate with the front end or to communicate with JavaScript. So open up the hotel detail and what we are pretty much looking for is the button that says add to bookmark. So we could, we could work with this one here. You see this one that says bookmark, we could work with it. So if I open up my front end and reload this page, you can see that we have this bookmark showing up like this. If you want, you could use a star. If you don't want to use a, not a star, a heart. If you don't want to use a bookmark tag, you could just use a heart like this. Let me show you. See, you could, you could say something like this. Oh, wait, let me see. Did I remove that? Yes, I did remove it. All right, see, you could actually add in something like this. So when we have this, let's go ahead and perform some operations. Firstly, in the views PY for the hotel. We firstly want to check if this particular hotel that the user is trying to add to the bookmark, if it already exists, we don't want them to be able to see, to see this color as um, gray, but they should see like a red color, something like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but if it doesn't exist, we can then go ahead and make that gray. So how do we do it? Open up your views PY for hotel and look for the hotel detail. This is it over here. Now let's work with the, let's create a new log conditional statement to check for the bookmark. So I will say if requests dot user dot is authenticated, then what do you want to do? Let's fetch bookmark by saying bookmark dot objects dot filter by user should be request dot user and hotel should be hotel. So now I will take this bookmark and pretty much put it in here. All right, just like that. And back to the, back to our um, hotel detail page, then we want to check if the bookmark exists. So let me open that up real quick. And um, um, here, I'll look for that. Let me search for share. All right, this is it here. Can you see it here? So I want to check if bookmark, that means bookmark exists, then we, we still want to run the same code. Else we run something else down here, which would be the same code, but I want to pass in some things in the now for the codes. So this first one, for the A, if bookmark exists, we want to make the color of the icon to be red. So I will say style or uh, not in there, but here style and color should be red. That is if bookmark exists, but if bookmark doesn't exist, you can leave the color the way it is. Okay. Or you could even go ahead and pass in gray, gray. Okay. So this is premium hotel. Does it exist in the bookmark? No, it doesn't. So now if you reload this page, that should still be gray. Can you see? But now let's manually add a new bookmark from the, from the back end or from the admin to see what we have. So I'm adding a new premium hotel. And if I reload the page, you can now see it shows up as red. That is all good. So now to start configuring the page to be able to communicate with JavaScript, all we need to do is firstly add an ID to this A tag here. Let's do it for one that will copy it to the other one. So add an ID that will be called add to bookmark. That is number one. Then you also want to add a class to it. I will create a new class. And this class will pretty much be called add to bookmark. And we want to identify it by the hotel.id. Okay. And after we have that, we also need to pass in a custom data attribute that will be called the hotel, which will keep a track 
of the hotel dot id all right so with all this out of the way let's now take the id class and hotel attributes and put it in the second anchor tag all right so with all that out of the way now we could open up our custom js so i could open up custom scripts here and all the way at the bottom let's start off by setting up a new document dots and we want to list in for a click event on any button that has an id of add to bookmark to bookmark which is pretty much what we created here you remember this so as soon as you click on this button we want to create a new function that will perform some operation so the very first thing we want to do is grab the button so i'll select button be equal to this okay and I, I believe i have explained this before in the previous tutorial this pretty much means the particular elements that we clicked on that is what we are grabbing then let id be equal to then i want to grab the attributes button dot attributes and remember that there's an attribute in in this button here or you can still call it an anchor tag that is called data hotel that keeps track of of this value so I want to grab that attribute. So after holding, taking, getting a hold of that attribute, you could pretty much log the ID to see what we are getting. So with all this now, let's get back to our code. Open up your console log and give a, give this a hard refresh. But before we do this, let me please change up my code, this one over here, to not run every three minutes, but every day, all right? So I'm giving this a hard refresh one more time. As you can see, that's, that's still reloading, but it's done now. So as soon as you click on this, can you see it loads the ID of the hotel? That is real good. So now that we have the ID of the hotel, let's now make a call to this view over here and pass in the ID here, that one that we are logging. So to do that, to make a call, we need Ajax. So this should be dollar ajax and what do we want to do firstly the url that we want to make a call to what is it called this is it here and um it's slash user no it's slash dashboard dashboard slash this so guys we are not making use of the namespace over here but instead, we are adding the direct path. We are not making use of this, but instead the direct path to the URL. So after you've added the URL, the next thing would be to pass in. Okay, let me create a before send function. So while we are still sending the data to the back end, what do we want to show? We can actually start off by console login, um, adding to bookmark. All right. So after we've done that, the next thing will be to then pass in the data to the back end by calling ID data and ID. So this ID here, this one here, is the key that we are receiving over here. You see, it's this one that we are receiving over here. So if for any reason, um, this one here was called pancake. So for a reason, this one was called pancake. That means in your, in your back end server, for this view, this one here needs to be called pancake. And if you even run this code like this, it's still gonna work perfectly well. But just to stick to naming convention, that is why I like using the normal name that makes sense. And after all this, let's, after all this, I will then create a new success function in case everything goes well. And let's pass in the response here so that we can grab those data and icon from the back end. So I'll start off by logging res to see what we have. So with all that now, get back here and reload this page. And after the page gets reloaded, let's see. I will click on this. And can you see, it says adding to bookmark and it says bookmark deleted. All right, that is cool. Then it says, okay, there seems to be an issue. It says add to book. Firstly, it says bookmark deleted. Then it says hotel bookmark. All right, that does not make sense. Let me look at this. This is added here, right? 
as soon as we click on this, wait, hold on. Why does it keep pushing to the top of the page? Remove this hash over here, okay? Just, just leave it blank. Or you could even totally remove the href. Just remove the href in general. So right now, if I reload this page one more time, and we'll click on this, click on this, it's bookmarking, it's deleting the bookmark and also bookmarking the hotel, which does not make sense. So let's take a close look at our code again. If bookmark exists, oh, this is the problem. So over here, we need to say, mm, this particular hotel is what we're getting here. So here we fetched that hotel, right? Then we'll say if that bookmark exists, then what we did was pretty much delete that particular bookmark. All right, it was deleted here, else we created it here. So what is going on? Is there a problem with our code? Or is there something that we are missing? Bookmark the object you create. Hotel should be hotel, hotel bookmarked, but the other one is hotel deleted. I'm just trying to debug to see if we actually missed something out here. Everything seems to look good. Oh. And also, we, I believe we're also getting our ID perfectly. If you don't want to get the ID like this, you can still get it like this. It should still work fine. Mm. Okay, let me try this out again. Right now, I have this here. It's bookmarked. How about I delete this firstly? Let's say I do not want this right now and I just got rid of it. And I'm reloading my page here to see what I have. So this, not, this is now gray. But as soon as we click on this, it should get added as a bookmark, right? See, it says hotel bookmarked, then it's immediately deleted it again. Then it says bookmark deleted. That means it will not be saved. So let's see what's going on. So the only thing that I can make of this error is that I noticed that whenever I click on the button, it seems to submit the Ajax two times, twice. So I will have to further debug this to know what's causing the problem. But for now, the quick fix that we could use is to pretty much cut this code and open up the hotel detail HTML and just above the end block content, create a new script and paste the code. And after you've done that, you could give your page a hard refresh so that it syncs up all the information together. And when that is done, you can now click on this and see it's now deletes the bookmark. So the bookmark will no longer exist here. But when you click again, it's now added the bookmark. So then the bookmark will exist here. So that is pretty much it. But let's change this up so that it actually knows when to change the icon and, you know, things like that. So instead of just console login, what we can now do is we can firstly check if res.data is equal to bookmark deleted, then you can. Okay, let me just do this. So if res.data is equal to bookmark deleted, there is another way that I wanted to go, but I thought let's just stick to this one. Then what do we want to do? Let's pretty much say button.html should be what? And the inner HTML of the button, let me pretty much grab it real quick. This is it here. This is it. This all the way to the section. I'm taking that and scrolling all the way to the bottom. So if it's bookmark deleted, in that case, what we uh, use a single quote, what we want to do is change the red to gray. But if it's not bookmark deleted, if it's bookmark added, then perform the same operation, but change the gray to red. As simple as that. And also, one more thing is, if res.data is equal to login to bookmark hotel, let me copy that so I don't make a mistake. So whenever the res data is login to bookmark hotel, let's return a, you can still change the, the button to say something. You can change the button to say something like, um, oh, you know what? Let's alert login to bookmark hotel, okay?
All right, so with that out of the way, let's try this out now and see what we have. So I will have to open up my code, reload this page. And as soon as we click on this, click on this. See, add, add to bookmark and uh, all right. Why is it taking time? Let me click on this again. Oh yeah, we are no longer console login. So you click on this, see, now it's red which means it has been added to bookmark. Then if you get back here, you can see it's over here. If you even reload this page, the red should persist. If you click on this, it turns back to gray. When you reload this page, the red or the gray rather should persist. All right, can you see how it looks? Everything seems to be working well now as expected. The only thing that I think we could do is, since we already have Sweet Alert imported, let's make a good use of it. So um, let's begin by, you could use a toast if you want. If you don't want, you could also leave out the toasts, but let's use a toast. So I'll say const toast should be equal to swal.mixin. And what do we want to add here? Let's put a position as top end. Or you could just say position as top. And it should be a toast. So toast should be true. And what else do we need? Should we show confirmation? Show confirmation button should be false. You could pretty much look up JavaScript suite a lot and go through it. There's a lot of cool things that they have to offer. So this should be false and timer till it disappears should be 1000, which, which, which is a second, or let me even say 3000, and you could tweak this the way you want. All right, so with all this out of the way now, you could then fire a toast by saying toast, just fire, and you could put in the icon that you want to use. I will say res.icon, and also put in the, me the message or the title. So that one should be res.data, all right? So with all this now out of the way, let's reload the, the code. And if we hit this, it says add to bookmark. And can you see hotel bookmark? Let me remove that. This is show. Okay, it should be show confirm button, not show confirmation button. All right, so that it doesn't look that way. Reload your code one more time. And as soon as you click on this, it says bookmark deleted. If you click on it again, it says hotel bookmarked. All right, there you go. It's working as we expect. That is pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoy the video and learn something new. In the next one, we might start working with add-ins review or maybe the profile or something totally different. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, my love, peace out.